yet. I think they're so dirty. All right, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. This morning we're doing one of my favorite things, which is early, early morning errand running when like you get there right when the store is open. I've been up since six. Parker's been waking me up really early, but it's actually fine because I've just been like on that schedule now where I go to sleep earlier. And then I love being up early and like seeing the sunrise and running errands when no one's really out yet. It's like <laughs> one of my favorite things. So I have to get a scan this morning at like an imaging center. So I'm feeling real naked because all my jewelry's off. I'm really hoping they won't make me take out I had another scan yesterday. They actually let me leave in like a few of the hard to get out earrings, which usually they don't, but it worked. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hope, fingers crossed, that I won't have to take out you know, the new date and stuff because it's I'm gonna have to go to like a piercing shop to get them put back in, which I literally actually just did because the back end of the Dave piercing fell out and I can't get that in myself. So I'm going to be like back two days later if that's the case. I've had a lot of doctor's appointments this week. I realized I'm kind of in San Diego for longer and more often than Seattle now. So it kind of makes sense to have at least a primary hair where if I need something, that's a possibility. I'm not transferring like my neurologist. Well, my neurologist is actually in Texas, but I'm not transferring all of my doctors from Seattle. I'm just doing a couple of the ones. And I actually got my neck injections here in San Diego also a few days ago. So the last few weeks have been rough. Always like when the injections are fully worn off that last few weeks before I can get them again are a uh, little hellish. So very excited to be able to get those injections. So I got to the imaging place right when they opened, but there were already a bunch of people there. So I had to do like the time slot an hour out. So I'm going back in like, now it's like 45 minutes. I just picked up a Target drive up order, got there literally right when it opened. I pressed the thing like I'm on my way as I was sitting in the drive up thing and then pressed I'm here like two seconds later. I have a lot of photos on my phone I can edit. So I'm kind of just debating maybe getting a bagel or something, getting some breakfast, some coffee, and then just chilling in the parking lot and like getting that editing done and doing emails just on my phone. I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's go get some breakfast. A cheap iced coffee when you're out this was like 269 or something who knew einstein's i don't know exactly how much the starbucks ones are now but i feel like they're at least like four dollars this is just iced black coffee and then i added cream okay that was a big success didn't have to take the earrings out was in and out in like five minutes just put some of the stuff back on and i ended up going to michael's because i was on a mission i still kind of am on a mission to find this like certain kind of flower vase i want like a round but taller than normal one kind of like the one the shorter vase that i used in the denver vlog when i did the flower bouquet i did end up getting a little vase i'll show you what i got everything when i get home just ran in Trader Joe's, got a few things because I'm like fully out of food right now. And it was nice and empty in there. We're hitting good timing this morning, but got to go get back. I need to make a video edit on one video, unload all the groceries and stuff. And then I'm going to do a long walk with Parker. Okay. So here's the two things I got at Michael's. This vase, it reminds me of like a amber, you know, like amber glass. It has kind of like a pink tint, but I think it'll look pretty with kind of want to do like a fall bouquet. I've been so into making bouquets. I think it's so therapeutic. I think I'm going to make half for here and then give half to my aunt and make her a bouquet. I just love it. I think it's like creative, but not too difficult and just like fun to put on music and 
kind of go to town so i've been loving that i got this candle these were on sale for nine dollars and for a three or ten dollars for a three wick candle and this was also it was 20 bucks for both of these total and this one i think smells pretty good it's soy wax and it's clove sage and palo santo it smells like a little fall but not too much and it still has that nice kind of like masculine scent i love these i think the good and gather coconut pineapple these are so good i think these are better than the lacroix that one is a little sunscreeny. This one is just really good coconut pineapple, I think. And then also in the drive up order, I want to try the Celsius tropical vibe. Also, I'm trying the fantasy vibe. Don't know. Oh, this one's like, ma oh, Mandarin marshmallow. That sounds interesting. Okay, these are so good. I had the blue ones and I did that thing where you freeze them and I don't know what it is. It's like the crunch. Oh my God, so good. And let me show you Trader Joe's spinach i think these are the best like better than takis better than the sprouts ones i think trader joe's wins at these i've been making shrimp for lunch just in the air fryer and it's so easy and literally takes like 10 minutes you know good protein healthy got some steak because i'm not usually a meat cooker not that great at it but you can cook it in the air fryer so i'm gonna try to do that We'll see how it goes. Love making salmon in the air fryer. You can get frozen too and just put it straight in from frozen, but I wanna try this thing. I saw this recipe where you cut up the salmon first into like little cubes, then you can put some like little kind of Asian sauce on it and then pop that in the air fryer and it looks amazing. I can never remember which of these I like more. There's definitely one that's more flavorful, but I cannot remember. Oh, I just realized I meant to get the chili onion crunch. The chili onion crunch on these is really good, but one is better than the other. Just cannot remember which one. Oh, this stoked about. This is a new product from Trader Joe's. It's the Celebration Cake Gelato. I love cake batter ice cream. It's like my favorite kind of ice cream. These carrots, never tried these before. We'll see. I do like Indian spice things. Spicy Italian chicken sausage. I just thought this would be good to throw in the air fryer for a couple minutes. These are pre-cooked, so you just have to like heat it up. But there's this trend going around where you do the sausage with cottage cheese with mustard, which sounds so bizarre to me, but I do want to try it. I'm intrigued. So I love all those ingredients. And then this Mexican salad just for a quick kind of lunch. That's the Trader Joe's haul. Very stoked about it. So happy there's no one in there. Hallelujah. I forgot to get my mom's library book, I just realized. So I got to go back out and pick that up. I swear to God, Parker knows what I love you means. He gives me this look in his eyes when I say it. You're so precious. You're so precious. I love you so much. Yes, I love you so much. I'm not quite ready to make the bouquets yet, so I just have them both in water right here. This is so cute. Look at this little peach thing. I don't know where my mom got this, but this one actually I might use because it's kind of a cool like flat oval shape. gotta let this cool off i'm so excited <laughs> to try this combo because i'm just so curious what the deal is with this you're just supposed to like dip i think the cottage cheese and the mustard at the same time come on cool off okay i guess i'll have a carrot <laughs> i actually love carrots with mustard growing up my mom used to always put those together and it's actually really good i'm just gonna take a bite it's good i don't think it's like incredible not obsessed with that combo. I like the carrots with it better than the sausage with it. Figured I would try and prep this salmon right now, just in case later we go downhill. So that way I can just like pop it in the air fryer. I'm going by an Instagram reel, but I'm just gonna like kind of improvise also. She didn't put any of the friggin' measurements on the screen or in the caption. I'm kind of just gonna eyeball all these ingredients, press some garlic, and I'm gonna do both hopefully it's good just to like have it ready to go for tomorrow too but we've got soy sauce some sesame seeds sesame oil white vinegar honey and olive oil she added ginger too i don't have ginger oh and then garlic i just used i mean i used quite a bit just like three cloves i love garlic <laughs> Oh, 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 
This whole process took literally maybe 10 minutes max. Very easy. And now I'm gonna just let this sit until dinner and then pop it in there for I'm not doing it exactly the same as the real I saw. She put it in seaweed wrap kind of things. I mean, you could do so many different things with this. I'm just probably gonna have it playing with like cucumbers or spinach or something just to get some greens in. But there's probably so many different things you can do. Basically do it, cutting it up makes it so the edges get all like brown, which I love. I was just thinking like, I love salmon skin hand rolls. So first I was looking up like, can I just put this in the air fryer as is? So I did some Googling and if you don't wanna waste this part of the salmon, you can actually put it in the air fryer and make like salmon skin treats for your dogs. And it's really good for them because it has all omega-3s and fatty acids and stuff. So I feel like Parker is gonna be, I'm gonna be his new favorite person after this. I'm gonna put these in the air fryer right now and we will see if he likes it. Okay, I made it like really crispy, but now that it's cooled off and stuff, I'm just gonna break off the skin parts. This is just plain skin, only the skin and like small amounts to try it first. I'm just gonna give him like a little piece. I taste it, I mean, it tastes pretty good. Literally just tastes like a chip. Salmon -y chip, but a chip. These are oily, whoa. Oh, yummy. Okay, I'm having dinner. It's dinner time now. I've just been working the last few hours, did Parker's second walk, all that fun stuff. But I just cut up some cucumbers. I'm not doing anything fancy. If you had like rice, you could totally do, you know, you know what to put with this. <laughs> but I just want the basics and I, these, this is gonna be filling the salmon. So I'm gonna pop it in the air fryer, but I wanted to mention that, so this air fryer is the exact same one that I have like in storage. This is what I had in Seattle, but this thing is super easy to clean. Like it's nonstick and it's it, everything just comes off. So I don't ever feel like I need to use one of these unless it's like a really stinky food. Like when I'm making my shrimp, I usually put in a liner, but I do feel like it doesn't get as browned with one of these on. Like it doesn't get as fried or crispy. So if you wanna make something like really crispy, I feel like the liners do ruin it because the air can't, I don't know how it works, but I feel like it can't vent, you know, like it can with these cause there's just slats and then air under here. So if you're trying to make something really crisp up, I feel like don't use the liners, but I'm just gonna throw these in. I think I'm gonna do 375 and just kind of eyeball them probably like eight minutes, 10 minutes, I don't really know. So just so you can time it how you like them, here's after six minutes at 375 in the air fryers. I like them a little, a little blackened, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you've never listened to the Give It To Me Straight podcast, they're hilarious. This is how I want my salmon, okay, nice and black. Not like when you're cooking a salmon filet, but these kind of bites, I think this will be bomb. I just tasted one without any sauce or anything. It's actually cooked like perfectly on the inside. It's not overdone at all. So I think what I do eight minutes at 375. I, could, I feel like I could do maybe one more minute, maybe nine minutes if you like it a little more well done, but I might just do a little soy sauce on top, maybe some sesame seeds. Cause it does need like, still needs a little something. And now we're talking, I added sriracha and soy sauce and sesame seeds and it's bomb. Today's the day that I'm finally tackling this mess. So this is the makeup that I've had stored here. I wanna go through and kind of switch things out, see what I wanna use, retry, maybe show in videos, whatever. Here's the makeup I had with me in my suitcases. And then there's also some like hair stuff, random, random things. This one was very nice and organized. And then the bathroom has just turned into total chaos because I haven't had anywhere to really put the things because of all the organization stuff that needs to happen. So we've got a lot of uh, work to get through right now. I just wanna clean, organize, so I can see everything, see what I'm working with. I first put some of products that I wanna try or that I'm like currently using in here. I need a system. If you're new here, this isn't my permanent location. I'm just at my parents' house for a couple months. So I just wanna be able to see things better. I have this little stacked thing right here, which I used last time where I can put like some stuff like sunscreens and stuff underneath. I'm testing a ton of SPFs right now. These are things I'm currently testing. These are like some of my go-tos that I just use on a daily basis that I still want out. And then these are foundations I'm testing currently. I thought about having them out. The thing is like, 
I am so bad if I can't see something, I literally forget it exists. Even if it's in a bag like this, I'm just gonna have to remember I need to look in that bag. <laughs> That's why I just do well with like having everything out. So I haven't done this side yet at all, but now I'm gonna organize the skincare and then I might go get a cup for my brushes. I think I just used, I don't even remember what I used last time. So I'm just like glass from the kitchen basically. Haven't gone through these yet. Here's my next speed reviews pile, which will already be up by the time you see this. <laughs> So I'm testing a bunch of sunscreens right now. So far, the ones I'm liking the best are this Rose Ink Luminous one is really beautiful, super luminous. Feels like a very moisturizing, slightly tacky serum. So it has a nice, like it's not too slippery. This one, I already know I love this one. This is another top contender. I need to try this one more. I mean, I need to try all of these more. This is, I feel like, honestly, very overhyped. I think people are just getting it because the packaging, <laughs> like it just has that really cute font, you know, it's very aesthetic. To me, it doesn't even smell that good. I am gonna use it up. It has a nice glow, but it's nothing like crazy, like I wouldn't repurchase it. That's a body SPF. I'm trying the ROC Retinol so far liking it. They're really interesting. They're little like capsules. So it's kind of nice because you just get like perfect proportions. These would also be really good for traveling because you could just take a few out of here, you know, and it'd be like super lightweight as your retinol like the feel of this lip mask but it's very orange tinted i'm actually going to start trying a lash serum which i've never used before i saw frankie garza talking about this one specifically like she used to use it and her lashes looked freaking insane i looked back at one of her old videos where she was talking about it i feel like i'm going to be bad about using this every night though for some reason i'm also hoping it doesn't burn my eyes because a lot of things do a lot of people have been raving about this night mask just like as a moisturizer basically so i'm starting to try that one too haven't tried this yet, but this is also retinol. I'm gonna wait until I've thoroughly tested this one before I start with this ret retinol. Had a bin of stuff I was just filming with, so in my tinted SPF back. These are so bomb. These are basically retexturizing peel pads. These are awesome. These pretzel braids are so good. I've just been putting them in the air fryer at 400 for about three minutes, depending on how you know soft or crispy on the outside. But life hack, just put the salt on the mustard. That way it sticks. You don't have to like do the thing where you spray these with water. There you go. Always coming up with inventive ways to be more lazy. This is them. My mom had them here, so I'm not sure. They don't look like Trader Joe's packaging. Pretzilla, they're called. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. I got it consolidated down into here. And then this pile are things that I still want to keep out on the counter I'm going to organize. Here's the testing bin. Put a thing of lip liners and some lip products down here. Added a couple setting sprays and then I think everything else you saw. I picked up this thing on Amazon because I just have like the rolling sticky things like to get dog hair off of fabric and clothes and stuff. And this is interesting. So it says you're, you're just supposed to be able to run this thing along and then you push it in here, pull it out. And then the fur stays in this little contraption. Let's try it with this pillow, which I don't know if you can tell on camera is very covered in dog fur. Hopefully you can see that. This is Parker's pillow. Sits up at the window with him. Okay, definitely doing stuff. Yeah, it's working. Can you see all the hair on there? Then you just put it in this thing. This is like a really felty material for just extra sticks to it. Yeah, dude, this works. It's pretty wild. Look at that. You can see all of it on here. Okay, that is cool. You just empty this thing in the trash. Love a good invention. And you can just store it right in this thing. It just stands up. Another little gadget I picked up is this guy on Amazon because, so I had the hatch, I have the hatch sleep. It's in my storage unit, like in Seattle for wherever I moved to. But since I'm here for a few months and I figured like anytime back here, I can just whip this out. I wanted something like this again because I feel like the iPhone alarm is so, you're like immediately jolted awake and in like, panic mode it's very abrupt to wake up that way this does a lot of things this one you can sunset stimulation and sunrise and then you can choose 12 different colors you could also use this as just like color changing light in your room obviously alarm clock and then it has different sounds that you can choose apparently to wake up 
or fall asleep to also has like white noise so pretty similar to the hatch it doesn't have like an app connected to it that's the big difference i'll test this and see how good it is get all set up I chose the white one but there's also like a light wood color too so I'm curious to try this out see if it's similar to the hatch i mean it's way cheaper than the hatch obviously there's like a lot more things that the hatch can do but just for like a cheaper option and i just want to try it out i'm about to make a protein smoothie went on a walk so i have a whole thing of fresh spinach rinsed and cut up i had a lemon it feels very soft so i'm just gonna squeeze this in just for like a little citrus because why not my favorite this is the egg white protein if you can't have whey this is great because there's zero taste and just like mixes in really well with stuff that's protein powder i'm gonna do a banana i might add another half but i want it to be kind of like a orange banana like creamsicle kind of thing so i'm gonna add some the rest of this orange juice and then this vanilla protein there's half of this left so just half of that bottle and then hemp hearts i usually add for protein sometimes i do sometimes i don't they have like a nutty flavor so it's really good in peanut butter smoothies but i actually don't know if i'm gonna add that today because i want it to be more like creamsicle kind of yep that's a good one tastes pretty freaking good and a little more orange juice and i think it would taste like an orange julius basically i just filmed a video like a sit down video and now I'm scarfing down a Trader Joe's salad and one of the sausages because my aunt and I are actually gonna go see the Barbie movie impromptu, so I'm excited. And I have to leave here in like a half hour. Importing the footage, eating lunch, and then I'm gonna head out. I just have to say, I think this is even better the second day. Like as it's been sitting in the marinade even more, oh my God, just try to bite, 10 out of 10. And I add sriracha over top and then just like a drizzle of soy sauce too. It's bomb. Okay, just letting my bangs cool up in here for a minute. Got ready. I'm about to film a little thing for Instagram. This is too bright. But I just did some quick makeup, talked to a friend on the phone as I did that. Love a good two-in-one. This is my obsession at the moment. I used to drink this all the time in Seattle and I haven't had it in a while. It's so good. Put on just my corner lashes, the kiss ones. For the body glow today, I'm just going like that so you can see it. But for the body glow, I did Lawless Summer Skin. This is their stick in the shade Sparkling Champagne. It looks darker in here than it does on your skin. Like it actually, it blends out. It's really pretty. It's just like a goldy shade and I've been using a big brush with it. This one has like more, I would say shimmer in it than like Patrick Ta. This one's more of like a balm, but really pretty. I don't think it looks like too glittery. I'm gonna use Peri Para Rosy Nude with Hot Chocolate Heat. So I wanted to talk about the Barbie movie because I saw it. I loved it. Um, I loved it. <laughs> It was nothing like I was picturing until I saw like, you know, the trailer come out. I wouldn't say it's a kid's movie at all. I think it's for adults, maybe like teenagers and up. But I loved it. I cried a couple times. I thought it did a great job at portraying kind of what it's like to be a woman and what we deal with and what's expected of us. And I saw a great tweet that was like, if you're a guy getting mad about this movie, you're exactly part of the problem. This isn't really a spoiler, but just the scene at the end with the hand holding the older lady, Whew, that got me. The thing I took from that is like, it is hard to be a human. It's hard to deal with all the shit we deal with on a daily basis, but it's all worth it because look at like, look at what having feelings and having this life enables us to feel good and bad, but it's all worth it. You get to experience all these life moments and joy and pain and everything. and. You know, I've always said like the pain makes you, whether it's physical or emotional, like shit you've gone through makes you thankful and appreciate the joy and the good moments so much more. So I'm gonna add just a touch of sweet mouth over top. Yeah, I loved it. I think read maybe a little bit kind of the themes going into it because I feel like because I knew certain things going in, I knew what to look for and it was easier for me to like from the beginning see things from the other perspectives i'm gonna try the sub bum on my body i don't think i've i mean i'm sure i've tried this a while ago but i forget i am curious though how different generations perceive it differently because you know obviously my aunt is a different generation than i am and she saw certain moments totally different than i did so if you've seen the movie comment down below with like your 
if you don't want to do your age, you can do your generation and what your thoughts were and like takeaways from it because I just think it'd be so interesting to hear. And if you have daughters, I feel like it would be such a good movie for husbands to see or boyfriends to see, just guys in general, but especially if you're like a dad raising girls. I feel like it does give some interesting insight, you know? So I'm gonna arrange the flowers right now. I'm gonna film a little reel on it too. And then I have another Instagram thing to film. All right, you can see it a bit better in here, but I just wanted to show you the sheen. And this is that long Walmart dress that I showed in a reel. I love that this one has pockets, ties at the waist, very comfy. Okay, so all of the flowers were $20 total, and I think I'm gonna get two different bouquets out of them, so pretty good. Got the phone set up. I guess I could move you not right behind it, hold on. Let's get to going. Okay, this vase is, I feel like, not the best. I don't know. This isn't my favorite layout here, but part of the issue is I need more full, like, leaves to put in the back because the eucalyptus keeps flopping over. I was hoping they would kind of be more upright, but then I just remembered that eucalyptus isn't, it's, like, toxic to dogs if they ingest it, but I don't even, I don't want to risk it. I don't even want to, you know, have it in the air just in case a leaf drops or something. I guess I'm gonna have to throw those away because all of our neighbors have dogs too, so I can't like give it to someone. I might try and get something a little bit taller and bushier in the back to fill that in. Not my favorite assortment. Like I like the ones I did last time a lot better. I feel like I need something taller, but look at how pretty these are. Oh my God, look at that. The thing with the mini roses from Trader Joe's are that they're all bundled in like threes pretty much like the stems all have threes so it's kind of hard to i mean you can't really break that up so you just have to kind of spread it out too so individual roses i feel like are a little better in that way but i like them not my my favorite favorite but like see i need something right here some height just had a bit of a brain fart moment because it was sitting on the counter for the last couple days like out in water so it probably would have been fine but whatever i'm over explaining myself it's now composted and there's my empty flowers behind i might see if like i'm gonna bring those ones over to my aunt and see if she has like something from her garden i can throw in those okay that was fun now i need to work <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did you can give it a thumbs up thank you so much if there's anything specific you want me to like show or talk about or try in a vlog let me know but always down for ideas i love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye Thank you.